So we're wrapping up the uh, second afternoon here, or the second day here. Um, another three hours or so. And uh, got all the way down to the bottom corner. Uh, not quite as productive. Um, my wife was off, coming off call. And uh, babies were... Uh, not as eager as, as usual, um, but it's progress in here. Probably one more day and we, uh, we've got wrap up inside here, but we made some interesting discoveries. Uh, started the D2 process, put some D2 on some of these. So that should start working. I mean, these already look a lot better, just, uh, just getting them wet. Um, Uh, Anthony's got him a little bit wet. His wife's unearthed um, John's or Joseph's, I'm sorry. Joseph Rucker's. His pieces are somewhere over here. This is his wife's, I think. Her socket's right here. His socket's right here. His footstone, her footstone. Um, I'll have to see what exactly is going on here. If there is more in this row or not, could be. I mean, there's definitely unevenness here. Um, but we did get to this section and we've already gotten, you can see one headstone, a footstone back in there, another headstone. I'm not sure that I've identified a footstone back in there. There's a third row in here. Um, stands to be seen if we can identify anything. I don't see any inscriptions on that big rock. Um, you know, we're missing for sure two that I know of, that I recall seeing several years back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, I suspect a 12th, another burial in here. Oh, well, there is a 12th here. You can see a footstone right here. A headstone, I'm sorry, right here. Let's see if there's anything on it in row, in line with this. Um, so, it's at least 12 burials that we can identify already in this rucker plot. Um, and we'll have to see if there's more. So, made some progress. We met the new landowners, which is pretty cool. They, uh, they were uh, very interested in, uh, in the preservation of this, and I guess they'd actually tried to, uh, to get some folks to do this and hadn't had any luck getting someone who's willing to go in here by hand and that's obviously the only way we'd ever consider going in here you know other people had wanted to go in here by uh by with machines and obviously you'd destroy the whole place so there's our pile it's getting pretty it's starting to get pretty big but it's um you know a good deal of that is air with the uh with the brush with the uh the thorns it's raspberries Got some some footstones to reset. So there's going to be a, a decent amount of uh, of repair work that's going to have to happen in uh, in this in this plot. Um, so it's uh, it's coming along. It's pretty exciting. Um, looking forward to uh, to getting our good friend Don here, who's uh, whose great 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 grandfather is right in front of us right here, um, and have him. You see that I don't believe he's ever been out here, so I'm sure that that will be a uh, an exciting thing for him to see. And uh, let me get my uh, my uh, meat eater with the desk here. I'm getting used. And then one more thing to show: expose the gate here. The gate actually has. I'm not sure how well the video is going to show this, but if you can see right here. Right there is the name Rucker 
on the gate. And so that was cool. So we'll see. Like I said, we got quite a bit of groundhog disturbance. It'll have to be kind of leveled off. Um, it's gonna take some uh, some effort, but we've made some progress. Feeling good about it. And getting at it before it uh, gets too out of control with the summer growth, late spring, early summer growth. And uh, hopefully come uh, Wednesday, the weather will hold and we'll be able to get this thing cleared to the ground and, uh, and uh, kind of begin stage two, which will be kind of probing for any lost markers, locating all the markers, flagging it off, and you know identifying what needs to be done for each each repair, reset, and uh, go from there. Stay tuned.